What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. And in this one, I'm reviewing the harnesses that I've owned so far. I've owned two harnesses. This here is the Explorer. And this here is just a way cheaper harness that I got for crypto. This here was Crypto's first harness. You guys can see it in all of his first videos. This is way cheaper than the front pet. This Explorer harness is specifically designed for pulling. I like for this dude to pull. And if anything can make it easier. Now these harnesses, you could really tell the difference on them. This was his first harness. It's a really good harness for the price. The hook, this is the hook. As you can see, the harness is already ripped. This was because I left the harness on while I took them to dog parks and such things. On the price comparison, this one is, I believe was around $60. This one is $15. It's extremely important to remove your harness anytime your dog is doing any type of activity where they don't require the harness. Just because this thing was $15, does not mean it wouldn't last as long as this. If you take care of the harness, this $15 harness should be good enough. As you could tell on the price comparison, this front pet is really thick. It has really nice padding. And since it's so thick, it kind of floats over the skin of the, of the Husky. Kind of like this one does, but all around the body. As you can see, you see there, it's just a strap when it should be all padded. That's why this one's $15 and this one's $60. Another thing I really enjoy on this front pet is this pulling leash it comes with. This leash is so freaking amazing. It has like the springs so it kind of softens the pull so it makes the pull feel steady. If you want to make it longer you could always just strap it to the middle. I always like strapping it on the sides just so he could get the even pull. Get up. This is how the harness looks on him. Now that it's been torn apart, we could kind of see what's inside. All it is is a little foam. I could sew this back on, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to get your dog's harness size now. All you need is a tape measure. Just by experience, these dogs are a medium sized dog breed. Just to make sure there's only one way to measure and that's measuring their chest. What you wanna do is wrap your tape measure under their armpits right here. Measure right under the armpit. Right there. As you can see, Crypto is 29 inches. Now we're gonna put the Explorer harness on him. It just goes over the head like that and it has a strap down his chest, it loops around. And this here is Crypto's pulling harness. This is a really good harness. I like how it's padded all the way around. The leash it comes with is really good. I believe the sizes is 29 inches of chest to 39 inches. So this harness is perfect for him. I think he loves the harness. The only downside I see of this Explorer harness would be the fact that it could slightly make your, your dog hotter if there's no wind. But since you should not run your dog in super hot weather, this harness is pretty much all you need in order to run a dog. Would I recommend this pulling harness? This harness gets a two thumbs up from me, man. This is the harness to get for a pulling dog such as the Husky. This harness is a good go. If you're looking to buy a harness, Go down to the description. I'll put the link down below of both these harnesses. Again, that is the Front Pet Explorer harness. People have asked me about the Explorer harness and it's currently out of stock. So if you guys are looking to buy new harnesses or your very first harness, here are these two harnesses I really recommend. Both at really good price differences. I hope you guys understood how to measure your dog for their harness size tape around under the armpit. Hey dog, could you 
possibly get up so we could get a, a shot of that awesome harness? Crypto, I need you to get up. Good. That's how the Explorer harness looks on him. I think he really enjoys this harness just because it helps with the pulling. And these dogs are all for pulling. What this harness has is it has this right here. So you can make it tighter or as big as you want. What the fuck is that? Speak. <laughs> Speak. Speak. What the hell? That was so weird. It's like he's looking at me through another dimension or something.